I did not expect what happened after that. Hi. There's a lot to share. I'm just gonna start one by one. If you know me, welcome to behind the scenes of my life. If you don't know me, you're also welcome. You're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna hear a lot, and I'm just happy that I get this platform to share with you everything I know. Two years ago, I moved to New York. I moved to New York and I didn't know a lot of people. Maybe I knew one person, two people. Um, I didn't have a community there. I didn't know anyone, but I was very outgoing. So I would go to every single event, to every party, to any cultural thing, any protest. I just wanted to meet people. I wanted to be out there and build a life. Not just that I wanted to, but it naturally came from me. So through that, I met so many people and I started connecting with people and I was very outgoing, very social. So I would like naturally attract people. Now, because I knew so many people and I knew the spots to go and things to do, a lot of people would reach out and ask me and um, want to join and ask me about information and what to do and where to go and all that. And keep in mind, these people are people in my community. So I'm Arab, I'm Palestinian, and I love my culture. And I wanted to connect people with people from my culture. And I wanted to um, just stay around my community. So what I did is I created this group where I would just tell people what to do all together. So I don't have to like message people separately and everyone's asking me on their own. So I just created this Instagram page first, which I would just, you know, post flyers and post information of things to do in New York if you're Air or if you're looking for Arab stuff to do in New York. And then um, I created a WhatsApp group where I would also share and ask people to share as well about things they're doing and things that are going on. I did not expect what happened after that. I did not expect this community to grow so much. This community grew because people needed it and it grew so much and so fast. It went from like 50 people in New York to now 50 states. Like we have chapters everywhere and there's um, even chapters in other countries. And it's not anymore about Lena sharing. It's about the people running that group and the people in that group. My involvement has decreased so much because now it all depends on these people to keep it alive and, and keep it going. Through creating this community and because of it, I had to start managing people. The, the growth was so fast and big that I was put in a position where you're now a person that makes bigger decisions and you're the person who is in charge of all of this. I'm responsible for choosing the people who manage these groups. I'm responsible for making sure making sure that this community is, is growing and make sure that this community is doing well and doing its job. So out of no experience of managing anything, basically out of college, out of my first job in New York, I had to manage this whole community. And I made a lot of mistakes. I am not perfect at all. I don't have experience in building a community before. But also I learned a lot. I learned so much. And this is why I wanted to make these videos, just to teach you as well, to, to share my experiences to tell you what actually is going on, how I did it, what I learned. So if you ever think to do something or just wanna hear my story and learn, or if you know me and you just wanna understand what's going on, there's a lot and I'm excited to share things with you. So just make sure you keep watching and stay tuned for I guess every video I upload. <laughs>